All right, this video is going to be a little reminder of how to solve exponential equations by changing the base. So, solving And um, you have done this before, so when we look at the ones in this class, we're going to look at more difficult examples than you have probably done in the past. So the first one is going to be 16 to the V multiplied by 1 8 to the negative V minus 3, and that equals 32. All right, so the first, the first thing that I'm going to do is look at my, um, my chart to see which base I want to change this to. So I'm looking for a column that has 16, 1 8, and 32 in the same column. And so I can see that if I look at the columns of 2, I have, oh, I'm going to have to fix this. That should be 1 8, not 1 9. That's a typo. OK, 1 8 and. 16 and 32. I'll fix this before I hand it out to you guys. So we're looking at this column right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all of those so that they have a base of 2. So 16 I'm going to change as 2 to the 4th. And then it's still raised to the v power. And then 1 8 is 2 to the negative 3rd. And it's still raised to the negative v minus 3. And 32 is now 2 to the 5th. Now, on the left side, I have to simplify this a little bit. So if you guys recall, the property of exponents tells us if you have an exponent raised to an exponent, you should multiply those. So that's 2 to the 4v. And this is 2 to the 3v plus 9 equals 2 to the 5th. And then if you guys recall, if I multiply 2, um, exponential expressions together, then I add the exponents. So 4v plus 3v makes 7v plus 9. And at the point where this is my equation, I can just ditch the bases and solve the equation 7v plus 9 equals 5. So I'll subtract the 9 over 7v equals negative 4. And then I'll divide by 7 on each side and get v equals negative 4 sevenths. Okay, and just one more example of this, since you guys should be pretty familiar with it. We're going to do 64 to the a minus 3 over 16 to the negative 2a equals 64 to the a. So again, I'm looking at um, my sheet that has all of the bases with their exponents and I'm looking for a column that has 16 and 64 in the same column and you have you can have twos right here so 16 and 64 or you have fours with 16 and 64 which means that you could change the problem so that all the bases are twos or you could change the problem so that all the bases are fours it does not matter you'll get the same answer so since I just did twos I'm going to go ahead and do fours on this one so 64 can be rewritten as 4 to the 3rd. So I'm going to write that as 4 to the 3rd and keep the exponent that is currently on there. And then I'm going to rewrite 16 as 4 to the 2nd and keep the exponent that's currently on there. And then 4 to the 3rd raised to the a power. So just like last time, um, I'm going to simplify this by multiplying these exponents. So I have 4 to the 3a minus 9 divided by 4 to the negative 4a and that equals 4 to the 3a. And then if you guys remember, if you have um, an exponential expression divided by another exponential expression and the bases are the same, you just subtract the exponents. So we have 3a minus 9, that's the top, subtracting negative 4a, that equals 4 to the 3a. And I can say the minus minus makes a plus right there. And I'll go ahead and get rid of the bases. And so I've got 3a minus 9 plus 4a equals 3a. 
So that's 7a minus 9 equals 3a. I'll get the a's all to the right side, so I'm minusing the 7a over. So I have negative 9 equals negative 4a. And I'll go ahead and divide by negative 4. And so that's positive 9 fourths equals a.